Hey guys, it's Lori Forrester and I'm going live. Hope you guys are having a great wine Wednesday. I'm actually just setting up for a corporate wine tasting and I thought I'd pop on here to have a drink with you for Wine Wednesday. Um, one of my wealth management clients is entertaining this evening and so we've got two great wines here. But this is one of my secret favorite rosés and I just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know what it is. Um, hopefully I can see the chat windows so if you have any questions put them in there. Even uh, I can't see them right now but I'll answer them all after the broadcast has ended. So anyway, okay here's my secret favorite rosé. It's from Maison Saint X and it's from a very particular region in Provence, France called X in Provence. X A I X, <laughs> not E X. We won't talk about those X's, but this is from Provence, France, which I think makes the best rose out there. And it's a blend of Cinso, Grenache, and Syrah. It's around $18.99, around $19, which is under 20 to me is a sweet spot. And don't believe people that say that you have to wait till May to drink rose. You can drink rose whenever your heart desires, and that's what we're gonna do this evening. And I love rose for all things seafood and oysters, lobster is great with rose. Um, so if you're not already a fan of dry rose, this is a dry style. There's lots of red fruit there, but minerality and also a little uh, salinity, if you wanna say that, a little salty brininess. Uh, Provence is in the south part of France very close to the coast, and so that often happens with wine. Um, this is a 90 plus point rated wine, if you care about that. <laughs> um, that's not necessarily why I picked it, but it's, I've been a fan of this one for a long time. So that's my little tip. The other tip is, I'm using my new Riedel Rosé, Extreme Rosé glasses, and they are built exactly for rosé and champagne so that it enhances the freshness and the fruit or the bouquet of the wine, but then maybe tones down the acidity if it's too racy by the shape of the glass. So I'm super excited to be using my new wine glasses. I don't know if any of you guys are obsessed with wine glasses like I am. I have way too many and then I just keep wanting to buy more. But anyway, Ex in Provence, the other reason why I love this wine is that the founder is an ex-advertising agent. He always loved wine, but finally was able to walk away from his job in the Netherlands, move to France, buy property, and really pursue his other passion, which was wine. 2009 was his first vintage, and I just love his story because like him, I left a career in software sales to pursue my passion in wine and demystifying that for you guys one glass at a time. And so I just hope you found a new rosé when you try this. And if you too are looking to make fun shifts and changes in your life, don't forget about my You Uncorked virtual conference. It's gonna be on April 21st from one to 4 p.m. and my VIP will end the day with a wine tasting. Just go to youuncorked.com and I hope you uh, had a little fun. I wish I could see the chat window right now to see if any of y'all are asking me questions, but I will uh, figure that out and go to the chat window and answer anything you got because I know some of you are going to be watching this post taste and I have to start my tasting in 15 minutes so I better get that red bottle opened and get everything set for my clients and their invited guests. But Lori Forrester, the wine coach, cheers to Rosé X in Provence from Maison Saint X. I hope you will look it up. See you guys soon.